What's up guys, this is Velve Unicorn, and welcome back to some more Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on the PC. Um, this is the second half to a 16-5 gameplay that I got on that raid using the PDW with the Fast Mag and Lawn Barrel. In this game with me is Regional Lady, he recently just got a PC and he's been playing with me, I've been playing with him. We've been having some fun on the video games and just having a good old time. So it's been a little while since I made like a formal gaming commentary I guess you could say and I've just been really busy with um I've been doing track I've been um well I recently had midterms so that kind of got in the way as well so I've just kind of not really had the time or the willpower to get myself to be playing a video or making a video I have been um recently like the last week or so putting more time into black ops 2 because I almost took a break um just because I had all these other games that I was playing I was playing um I got a bit more into Battlefield for a little while, went through a phase where that was all I played. I got Bioshock, I got um, a ton of Counter-Strike games, and I've just been like putting more time into things other than Call of Duty, because up until just recently, I haven't really had many people to play with on here, but um, all of a sudden I've just had all these new people I've met that I've been playing with, um, Kyle being one of them, but just other people as well, they're really awesome dudes that I've been playing with and it's gotten me into playing this game quite a bit more because let's be honest Call of Duty is a lot more fun when you're playing with friends <laughs> um, so I think this is the first gameplay I posted with the diamond oh, camo on anything um, I've had the diamond SMGs for a long while now anyway I've probably had them for two months and I've been starting to work my way towards the diamond assault rifles getting the headshot challenges for all of them and I'm currently working on the SWAT 556, which I don't really care for when it's in its three round burst mode, but once it's finally in its, um, once you get select fire, it's actually really good and verging on probably the best assault rifle in the game if you can kind of control the recoil. Because even though they added a little bit, I mean, it's not that bad as long as you, you, all you really have to do is just drag down the mouse a little bit while you're shooting, and you'll have no problem controlling that recoil. Um, I have a kind of different kill streak setup this game that I kind of started using not too long ago, but uh, it started in Free Frog because I've been playing that a lot more. And I didn't want to run high streaks because obviously it's harder to get points in non objective game modes. And I kind of came across this sentry gun because I remember in all previous games you had to, um, in order to actually get the sentry gun, or sorry, yeah, to start using the sentry gun, you had to, um, like throw down a care package, but now that that's not the case, they're a lot easier to use, and they can be really helpful, especially in game modes like this. You can hold down B with on fairly easily, and it'll make it um, much, much easier for you to keep track of where the enemy is, because you can close off routes for them to take, and it's just very helpful, and if you're using it in free-for-all or TDM, obviously it's going to help you by getting those kills you need to win, and it lasts a long time. You can no longer knife it to kill it, so they have to actually get close up to it, and shoot it until it dies but that's not really easy to do because obviously while you're trying to get up to it and shoot it it's gonna be kind of trying to shoot you as well and I'm still running Lodestar because I mean it's, it's freaking awesome I find it a lot better than the VTOL I've probably I think I've called in like 50 Lodestars and I have almost a thousand kills and I've called in like two VTOLs and I have probably 12 kills so if you do the math that's as very significant um, or that's a very significant difference in kills. I find the Lodestar just easier to use as well. I'm not really familiar with the VTOL. And I just, I love the sound this makes. And it's just so awful when someone calls them in on you. And I like to be um, the one who calls them in. Because they're just freaking awesome. So, um, I guess I'll probably be posting more COD commentaries. Um, I'm probably going to start doing some more live stuff. Some more Minecraft stuff. Just changing up the content on my channel. Because... Um, COD's fun and all, but I really enjoyed the last, like, while I've had playing different games, experimenting and such. If you don't, haven't used that little spot there before, you can just look into that little alleyway down there and kind of use that banister as cover. It's really helpful. I saw that in a TBNR Frags video and used that to my advantage just then, and it worked like a charm. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you have, if you could leave a like ready, it really helped me out a lot. At the end here, I almost got a brand new set of, a brand new load star. I got all my other kill streaks. I was going to go ham, but sadly the game ended. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like rating. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.